Hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing as the Count of Provence. We have just taken over as this three-year-old babe over here. We are a genius, however, and this was actually kind of as we devised completely. However, we do not have, we do not have an heir. That means that this guy that does not like us, he's going to try to kill us, potentially, right? He could try to murder us because he knows that if we die, then he would take over. He would, our liege would take over. So we need to get an amazing spy master, hopefully. And, um, like, I don't know if she's going to cut it. 14, that's, a, that's not great. This is not great. Our court has been ravaged for the most part. But we need to have the best of the best protecting our uh, our realm right now while we wait for adulthood. Because we're going to be a little bit stuck right now. We have no player error. If we were to die, the whole run would be would be done. So, But we played pretty risky with our last character. So we knew we were going to get into this situation here. But this could really pay off big. Because we are a genius and that's pretty neat. We're not being endorsed by our bishop. Okay, we need to fix that. I'm just going to get rid of it for now. But we do know that we need our bishopric to, to support us, right? Um... We could declare war on King Charles. We're not going to declare war on France. That sounds a little silly to me. Powerful vassals expect positions. Again, we you know we know how to deal with that. We know how to go into here, into the realm tab, go to our vassals and see who doesn't like us, right? And to be honest, people don't like us. Uh, we'll be able to fix this eventually. Unfortunately, as a child, we're going to be a little limited here on what we can do. We're going to be a little limited. We actually can't sway these people anymore. Because we're just a baby. We're just a baby, so we can't come over here and, and convince these people to love us. We can give them gifts, though, if we had the money, but it's very expensive to do that. So it's going to be it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. I think we actually, man, this is tricky. We'll have to see if we're going to want to do stewardship or if we're going to want to do learning. If we did stewardship, it would be very economically focused. We can't actually adjust the focus yet because we're not six years old, but it's good to just think about that. That's part of our, our childhood focus, essentially. So, yes, if we die, we know we have no air, and that's really bad. We're going to get rid of that, though, for now, just because we, we know we can't do anything about it while we're a baby. We can't have kids while we're a baby. We've got to be 16 years old to be an adult and start having kids. We know we have low county control in one of these provinces, apparently 100, 165. So we could have our marshal working on actually improving the control in this province. That's what this does right down here, right? It's saying we have low control. How do we fix that? We have our marshal go in there and slap some heads and send the army in and all kinds of stuff. So this guy's going to go in there and try to boost the control up here up to 100. If this gets up to 100, we'll be more likely to collect our full amount of levies, our full amount of taxes from this holding, from this barony. So right now we're getting a fraction of what we're owed because we have low control. Otherwise, he usually organizes the levies or, or trains the commanders and stuff like that. But now he's going to work on control. That all being said, I mean, what could we do here in terms of potentially boosting our our counselors, right? So he's a 13. He's the highest we got right now. Guys, a 9? Not good. Not good. We can't change the bishop. He's an 11. That's just the way it is. Our steward over here is a knight. Oh, we could we could recruit this guy who's a 19. The other guy's going to be pissed, but, you know, get him in there. So 19 is good. We don't have to worry about that. For the most part, this guy's one of our vassals. He's a 14. We don't want our... He's not going to like us, though, is the problem. He's not going to like us. Even if we assign him as a council member. Because it's only a 50 point swing. So I'm a little hesitant to appoint someone to this council that does not like us. Right now our spy master likes us. So she's at least going to be looking out for our best interest in, in, a, in, in a, a mild way. It'd be really great if we could go out and, and, and get some new people to join the court that will like us even more. Like if we could go out here, what is that? He's always a monk. This guy's been, he's been, he's taken the house. That's kind of neat. Well, he's a church man, a, a church bishopric. That makes sense. So we could actually go out and we could try to recruit someone here. Arrange a marriage for her. And we could arrange a marriage based on someone with a good martial skill. We know we need a better martial. We, we know we probably, ooh, this guy's got an amazing intrigue skill. And that's going to be good for defensively protecting our, our character. That could be critically important. 
that might be one of the most important things we could do. However, um, we could also try to recruit a spy, uh, an injury character that is a woman. So we could use, like, how many people, basically we need to assess how many people we have that we can go fishing for. She is unmarried, right? We could use her to go fishing for someone that can operate. This person is also unmarried, so we can go fishing with her. Those are the only two characters that we can do. So if we were to get a, a spy master, we could then get a counselor or a marshal, but we can't get both. The spy master can be a woman, but the counselor and the, and the marshal have to be a man with uh, with the Catholic religion, with our with our male preference religion. And we could just bring in Emma. Or she's a 17. I mean, that's better. It's not a 24, but, you know, if we went here and we searched for someone who's a diplomat, a 17, it's quite a bit better. This would be very important as well, right? So it would be rather important. I think we want a good marshal, and I think we want a good diplomat. Do we just marry off her to the marshal or to the diplomat? Whoops. He's the diplomat. Okay, so we need the other person in our court to uh, marry someone off based uh, to become a marshal. Okie dokie. We need to go looking for a um, the spycraft lady. Let's make you guys off. And finally, we need to get someone that's able to educate me, right? I need I need an educator. Someone needs to educate me. None of these people are geniuses, so we need to go finding a we need to find a genius. I mean, this is gonna be a hail mary if we can find a genius here. Yeah. Not happening. Not can we find someone that's intelligent? No. Quick. That's rough. That is really rough. We could search for a physician, maybe get someone into the court that potentially could be unmarried. We could go fishing for someone. We just need to get some more people in the court to go fishing. It sounds like. But if we let those, mar we'll wait a little bit on the on the education thing. We'll just give it a give it a second here. Let's fire that guy. Get this guy in. He doesn't like us for whatever reason. Don't know why. He doesn't like us either. What the heck? These people that we're adding don't like us. Short reign. Well, it's like yeah. Well, you're new. Foreign culture group. Yikes. I think we're going to keep her because she at least like likes us right now. This is very tricky. Everybody despises us. We need to go into domestic affairs so this guy can start trying to butter everybody up. That's very important. Increase vassal opinion. He's got some good positive side effects there. I think we're going to have this guy actually just focusing on um, building here, uh, developing that area. This is tricky. Just being a baby here. Our liege is in a couple different wars, it seems. Again, what would be nice is if we had someone educating us that was a, of a good skill. But it seems like no one's really available for that. It's crazy because I know there was people over here. Where did all these people go that was in our brother's court? You know, I guess they just went poof. I guess they just went poof. Actually, what if we offered this guy a ward? We offered ourselves. Does he have ooh, our mother? That could be perfect. She's a genius. She's got a good stewardship. 
Oh yeah. That's gonna be great. So we're a ward, and that's gonna make this guy a little happier too. Ooh, the fact that we're a ward means I think he's gonna be more easy. I don't know, we might not make it. We might die. Because I think the fact that, that uh, we just offered ourselves like that, I think now that we're in his castle, right? Our character is now hanging out in his castle, or maybe not. Maybe she actually came to our, is she in our court? She's our guardian, I don't know exactly if that's gonna make us more susceptible to being attacked by this guy, but it does make him like us a little bit more, so maybe there's no issue there. We could think about finding someone to marry, but I think we're gonna wait till we come of age for that. A lot of people are attacking the Italian nation here. Um, hopefully Italy, uh, I don't know, they're getting attacked by what looks to be France and all kinds of things. I mean, if France takes over all of Italy, we could find ourselves under France here in a second. Building up our economy is actually doing pretty well in this situation. Prestige is not going up very high, partly because we're probably just a baby. It's hard to have much prestige while you're a baby. Piety is going up somewhat, but not fast by any means. So we're just going through the years here, aging up. We're five years old. We know that we want to be focused over here, but once we get to be six years old, we can change that. We have a guardian, right? Our mother is our guardian. She's a genius, so that will be a good education there. She's got a good stewardship skill as well on top of everything. Oh, we can become insular. No, I think, I think we're going to make our own religion or we'll stay Catholic. One of the two. So you can make your own religions. We haven't actually talked about that. So where a new religion has popped up in, in the vicinity, and it was allowing us to just sort of convert to it. Like another relevant religion was just, you know, one of our neighbors converted to it. And it was kind of saying, hey, we could convert to it too. But essentially, if you come down here, you actually have, we could read about the different sort of communion, uh, the, the monasterism, uh, whatever, um, you know, in terms of, makes it so that the courtiers could take the vows to become a monk and stuff, right? And uh, and the armed pilgrimages and, and so on and so forth, right? There's different aspects to this. There's different virtues and there's different sins. And we have different rules. And one of these things is the, the male dominance, right? Uh, is one of the things that certain things are shunned and certain things are criminalized. And, and you can actually make a religion that makes it so that adultery is totally fine. Everything's Gucci. You can uh, have uh, same-sex... Uh, you can you can make it so that it's like the norm, or that's like uh, what's what's completely valid and appropriate to have same same sex relationships and stuff like that, which is really really cool. So you can you can customize your own religion, is what I'm trying to say, and you can come in here, you can change out the tents and stuff. It's very expensive on the piety. So the character that does this, the character that successfully makes their own religion, does a need to be a pious person. They need to be a learned person. And that is kind of like one of their life goals. That is part of their legacy. But it's it'd be fun to do something like that with this. With this, I mean, heck, this character could end up being like sort of a you know they're young and, and malleable, right? Holy cow! We'd have a forty percent chance to become brave. Brave is a great trait, although it isn't necessarily um, a positive trait for Christian or for Catholics. This is a great trait if you're a pagan. Pagans love being brave. Because they're all about going in and, and being, you know, doing battle and stuff. Otherwise, we'd gain have a chance to gain stress. So we have a supportive mother. Ouch! While playing with my stick horse, I fell and scraped my knee. <laughs> Just as I regained, regained my feet, uh, my footing, uh, my mother uh, came walking down uh, the path beside me, asking if I was all right. Mother, please help. So we have a supportive upbringing, upbringing, which could be good. I can handle this on my own. Mother, help. No, I think we'll, we'll work on getting different kinds of traits if we can. That's not going to necessarily help us rule in this time and in this way. We're not really a martial big, you know, we're not, we're not going to be focused on our prowess. We're not going to be focused on our martial skill. We're more focused on our learning and our stewardship and, and just things like of that nature. One of the, it uh, looks like one of the wars has ended, but they're still at war with France. What is France trying to do to us exactly? Holy cow. France is fighting. Wait a second. Oh, this is a war against East Francia. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here, but I know that there's a chance where France can like inherit a lot of this stuff because the French uh, blood is just like, it's just all over the place out here. 
So there's like there's a lot of interesting ways that they can inherit Italy or in, inherit East Francia, and but it looks like Bavaria actually existed, but then died or got absorbed, and so we'll see Bavaria popping up a few times and, and all kinds of craziness. Oh no, we have a scandalous priest. Is this our? No, this is a foreign guy. So this is not something that we particularly care. Wait a second, is this the Pope? This is the Pope? Catholic World was appalled to learn that Pope uh, Martinus himself has been keeping a list of all of those who have ever wronged him, detailing in numerous uh, ways he plans to get back. So is he vengeful? He's vengeful. So our Pope is sinful, and this is causing a, a contextual event. Um, we can condemn him, but he won't like us very much. He becomes our, We don't want the Pope to become our rival. We really don't want the Pope to become our rival. But losing prestige and piety like that, it's like, ugh. I mean, he's 43. He might not last forever. Catholicism is losing fervor, and the Pope is losing devotion, which isn't good. We could just say nothing, basically. So, we could, you know what? What the heck? I'm going to do this because I have a feeling he becomes your rival. He becomes your rival. The Pope is a rival. That just sounds like a terrible idea. What the heck? Let's do it. Let's do it. The Pope doesn't like us. We're going to maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe we're going to break off from the church. Who knows? Let's go to our realm really quick. Check out our vassals. Yep, doesn't like us, doesn't like us, doesn't like us. He likes us. Most of these vassals are not of importance. They're mayors and things, so they just run these little towns and stuff. They come and go. They're elected officials. They come and go all the time. They change with the wind. They have no staying power. When they die, it just goes on to the next random guy. We don't care about him much. We're building up our economy, which is great. This guy's unmarried. We could bring him into the court, use him to go fishing for somebody, but for the most part, I don't know if there's anything that we're really going fishing for. We could try to go fishing for a better spy master, but I think we already had a chance to do that, right? Emma joined the court. Presumably this guy also could look and see if there's any particularly amazing... Um, we don't need them to be fertile, but we just need them to have a high intrigue. If these people... A French Catholic... This is a French Catholic. Let's actually do that and get her in here. Because if she might actually like, she might actually be more uh, in tune. And uh, she might be happy. If we give her the position here, she's going to be better at her job. And she's going to like us. And hopefully that'll go up over time. A uh, short reign is going to go away as, as the years go on, right? The longer we reign, the more people respect us. We're building up a good economy so that we can spend that when the time comes. Although I guess we could start constructing buildings right now, right? Let's let's invest in some farms and some fields in our capital. Sounds like a good idea. Money is always a great thing, though, so. She's the worst. Isabel has been uh, pestering me for a long time now. We have a childhood bully. Isabel becomes our childhood bully. And she is the worst, guys. The worst. So we're going at four speed because we're just a child, right? There's not too much going on here. It's very difficult for us to, uh, to kind of get what we need to get done, done. Savoy is actually making gains over here. Making gains. I think Genoa is going to be an opportunity for us. What is this? My liege. Greetings, my liege. Appalling discovery I've made about the Baron. This man is engaging in unsavory and dishonorable activities behind her back. The heck? So that's our... The Baron. We're talking about the Baron's doing something unsavory. He's lustful. I'm not surprised. He's sinful. He'll reveal the secret to me. He gets a weak hook on me. This mayor gets a weak hook on us. And we lose a pity with the other guy. Eh. No, I think we make that. We we actually get. Uh, we, we flip that around. We Instead of letting our mayors gossip about each other, we're going to trust that the, uh, the mayor wasn't up to anything that bad. And we're not going to let the other mayor sort of have something over our head. I get a hook on us. 
because just like we can use hooks against other characters um they can use they can use hooks um against us in negative ways i watched my wily bully isabel they were laughing and, and leering at her a while <laughs> for a while before the pushing began despite the mockery she tried to keep up the lesson until the first blow landed I mean, the thing is, she's a bully. I mean, I'm not really sure if we're that concerned here. I'll protect you. We can still become brave. She stops bullying me and she becomes a friend. That's actually kind of cool. And we said that brave isn't inherently bad. Let's all stop right now and talk about this. We could become calm. Calm. Opinion of calm characters. Good intrigue and diplomacy is good. Stress loss go, uh, is, is more impactful. Dread decay goes up, so so we lose our dread faster. No big deal. Calm could be quite good. Or we could also become zealous, which we know that that increases our ability to for piety. Opinion of characters of the same faith, good. Um, until we change our faith, I guess. Faith conversion cost. Um, opinion of different faiths. You know, I think being zealous would actually be amazing. I think that would probably be amazing. A supportive mother. As I was delving deeper into my books, I was supported to, I was supposed to be studying. I realized that I had trouble grasping the finer nuances of the topic. Soon as soon I'm supposed to present the content to my mother, but if I continue on my own, I could be uh, stuck with this book the whole night. Mother, please help me. <laughs> We're having a very supportive upbringing, which is nice because our mother is our guardian. But we could try to become diligent. We have a chance to know we are going to become diligent. An opinion of diligent characters will go up. Lazy characters won't like us, but we won't like lazy characters either. Uh, stress will go up faster, but we'll get plus one in every trait. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's try it. Let's have 40% chance to become diligent, or we're just going to stress the heck out. I do great, and I become diligent. We are a zealous, diligent, pensive genius. Ooh, man, our character's really getting good. This character is looking good right now. Nine years old, we got good stats. We'll continue to get stats as we age up until the age of 16. We're also going to get an educational trait from this, which hopefully is based on stewardship. No, we should have... Oh, we forgot to change that when we got to six years old. That was a mistake. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us too much. So hopefully let's make sure that the our mother's teaching us in the ways of stewardship, not in the ways of learning. If we turn out as a learning character, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but we do want to switch that. Hopefully we have time to get a good educational trait there. Looks like one of these wars is 100% and should end for a liege. Oh, it already, it already ended. Hmm. I'm a little worried about our poor Italian kingdom here. Because it looks like West Frankie inherited all of Lotharingia. So they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's a little scary. It's a little scary. They have they have a lot of Burgundy over here if we wanted to do that. Of course, Savoy is part of Burgundy, but so are these three too. So to, to, for us to get in against Burgundy, we would have to attack West Francia. Which doesn't sound particularly amazing. It's saying we, we, we could recruit men-at-arms. They're very expensive, remember. We could go and look and actually... It says we should recruit men-at-arms. Let's go see what it costs. We have 150 gold come in here and we could buy it. It's only 45 to buy them, but there's a monthly cost. Fully maintain these guys would cost us half a duck in a month. I don't know. It's just, it's just expensive. I don't know if we need it right now. I don't know if we need it right now. If building a building with our money increases our economic snowball, having expensive standing armies that just sit around and drain our coffers kind of reduces our ability, to, our, our economic snowball. Far from home. A stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week. For a week, my liege. My guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is, uh, whatever. Uh, Your Highness, I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are wary of the road. If you allow us to say, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and to be your loyal servant. This guy's coming from Lith He's Lithuanian. It's really cool. He doesn't have particularly amazing stats or anything. But you never know. Could be interesting to have him in here. We get a weak hook on the guy. He becomes our courtier. He likes us. He converts to Catholicism. Seems good. Embrace God and this will be your home. The more the merrier. 
we're going to get a lot of stress, a critical amount of stress, because we're zealous. We don't like the fact that we're bringing in people of different religions. Um, he does like us a lot more if we don't force the conversion on him, and we gain a stronger hook. But I think, yeah, embrace God and join up join up the ranks. You're welcome. Oh, was he a good... He's turned into one of our knights. Was he a good uh, prowess character? So he immediately put on a helmet there. Seven? That's, mm, that's terrible. That's super lousy. Oh no, our knights are awful. We need a little bit more prestige to bring them in. Our knights are absolutely atrociously terrible. We did not inherit our father's knights. Hmm. What we could do is if we had any unmarried women of the court, we could go marry them to uh, soldiers, essentially. To join the army. Oop. One of the final things, we can have three traits, right? We can have three traits uh, that define our character and our character's sort of upbringing and development. So this looks like a final one where we could pick a choice. Unfortunately, these look rather sinful. I guess paranoid, uh, 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 sadistic is, at least. My mother, a duchess, brought me to the woods to play with a bow. Running off on my own, it did not take me long before I came across a wounded doe trying to limp away from me. Whoa. This will be the largest animal I've ever brought down. We can become ambitious. Even more uh, additional traits, but we gain more stress and our liege doesn't like us. It's so slow. I, I could stab it and watch it bleed at us. Woo. And we become sadistic. I don't think we want to become sadistic. This is a test set out by uh, my mom, isn't it? So we could become paranoid. I think, honestly, ambitious could be good. We are diligent, ambitious, and zealous. We are going to have an insane... Uh, Honestly, this could this could be fantastic. This could be incredible. This could be incredible. We're not betrothed. That's fine. Of course, our liege is not going to like us because we're ambitious and he knows it. We're coming for him. We're coming for him. Our spy master likes us. She's playing defensively right now. That's good. That is good. Ooh, budding attraction. As I look upon my younger uh, saucer... Walking by, sweet, uh, sweaty, with labor, but a blush on her cheeks. I'm entranced. What is this feeling, this longing? Girls are so fascinating. We realize that we are heterosexual. Developing some feelings there. Don't want any men in arms. We know there's uh, mayors and stuff that are angry. It's fine. We're to wait to betroth someone until we're an adult. This is fine. Still going at speed four here. We're only a few years away from actually becoming of age, but we've actually been able to... A lot of these different events about growing up have been good. Isabel is a really good friend. Holy cow, she went from bully to being a really good friend. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Whenever we spend time together, I always enjoy myself. She understands me like no one else does. Even though we are such great friends, sometimes I wonder if I do not want more from our relationship so we can gain a crush on her. No, she is nothing but a great friend. Yep, we don't want to gain a crush on her. I don't, she doesn't have, um, she is not um, someone that is going to be our wife. We have enough money here. We might want to immediately go on a pilgrimage when we come of age. We might want to do a feast. We might want to go on a hunt. We might want to search for a physician. So many different things that we could do with our money. When we get it, we're going to want to recruit knights and then get those knights uh, you know, hired up. But one thing we can do to sort of start setting the stage is we could actually have, we could have this guy fabricate a claim on Genoa take three years to do that but let's do that right now we actually have 300 piety that's not too bad he doesn't like us he still doesn't like us though holy cow the kitten what does that sound as i'm uh, uh playing under the what is this music i've never heard this music before ever hopefully it's not too loud guys we're gonna get a hey it's it's my kitty now is my kitty now. We looked under every bush, ever under every rock in every direction, and there, a tiny kitten is sitting under a thorny bush all alone. Well, it's our kitten now. 
His name is Snow. What a great name. So we snow the, the kitty. And we can actually come over here and we can pet Snow. And we can reduce our stress a little bit. I find Snow sleeping in my chambers. And as I sit down beside him, I'm greeted by a quiet, confused chirp. However, as I start rubbing my fingers through his white fur, he quickly starts purring in contentment. The sound seems to relax my whole being. I don't know, that an event gives me a little bit of chills, thinking about a cat I used to have. France actually just got a little bit of piece of land down here from the, the Islamic uh, kingdoms down there. A deep friendship. Nope, she's going to stay her friend. It really, The game really wants us to get a crush on her, though. But we are just friends. Just friends. We can build a trade port. That gives us extra economy uh, snowballing and extra development growth in the capital. It'll be fantastic for this area. Great. Is this our bishop or is this somebody else? Is this the Pope now? Do we have a new Pope? No, who is this guy? I don't know, but he's messing up. His sinful ways are being exposed and it's it's hurting all of Christendom, apparently. If this guy would support us, this would be good. He doesn't... Wait, what? Is he a cynic? He's cynical. Why is this guy... Why is this guy in charge of anything? We can't murder him right now. Keep up the good work. Snow. S Snow approaches me with yet another dead rat. I can do nothing but praise him. The castle has never been this, this free of rodents before. So rat free, this gives us a health boost. So it makes it less likely for us to get sick and stuff like that, which is really nice. And this guy is like, a, he's cynical. He's all kinds of things. We need to get rid of this dude. I don't know. We got to, you know, send somebody after him in the middle of the night. Thirteen years old. We're almost of age here. So we will absolutely become of age in the next episode. They give us multiple characters, though, just to form the duchy, right? Oh, that's the thing. We can save up, right? We can still, we still can usurp this with money. But I think what we're going to try to do is instead, we're going to end up going in for that meritocracy thing that allows us to actually seize the throne of our liege. Um, so I don't think we're going to have to pay for it. I think we're going to get it basically for free, which will be really nice. And our prestige. I'm assuming that we're getting a hit here because we're just a child. We're the dynasty head. We're the house head. Presumably our house is not that prestigious, though. Yeah, I don't know. We need to do something about that. Our prestige is, is just going up way too low. Way too slow. Guys, thanks everybody for hanging out for another episode. This one might have seemed a little bit less uneventful, but things are going well. We're really developing this character fantastically. I mean, 17 stewardship, 17 learning. That's while he's still a kid. He's 14 years old. He's only two years away from, from aging up. Uh-oh, Snow the Troublemaker. Dude, it's just a cat, man. Get over yourself, dude. Cats will be cats, dude. All right, thanks everybody for watching this episode. As the new Count of Provence is ready to, to embark on a long life. I mean, this guy could live for 70 years. We don't know. We don't know. He could he could unify Christendom for all we know. Probably not. <laughs> not completely. But thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you guys have questions, please ask down below and I will make sure to respond or just general feedback and suggestions and stuff, guys. Uh, this, of course, we are trying to go step by step. We're picking up the pace a little bit because when you're a kid, unfortunately, is not as you were in an adult, you're limited. You don't have the same options and stuff. So you try to be like, hey, can I make you happy? Can I do this? Can I do this? It's like you're, you're a child, you're a child, you're a child. You can't do any of that stuff, unfortunately. Um, we can't be scheming people and stuff like that while we're a kid. We can't be throwing feasts and things. Um, so we're just going to get through that in the next episode and and start on the life of this genius, this boy genius here. And it should be pretty good. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for uh, for watching this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.